every bull market has a moment when everything changes, a point where the loudest headlines distract the crowd, while the real wealth quietly shifts in the background. We've seen it before. In 2013, while investors obsessed over social media IPOs, a handful of believers quietly bought NVIDIA and watched it turn into a $4 trillion titan. In 2020, when the world chased electric vehicle hype, few noticed the birth of a new revolution, artificial intelligence, which would later rewrite the entire definition of value creation. And now, in late 2025, we're standing at that inflection point again. AI has gone mainstream. Rate cuts are on the horizon. Inflation is cooling. The market's narrative is loud. Yet beneath it, a rotation is forming. Money is quietly flowing toward companies that are not just using AI, but becoming AI ecosystems themselves, combining data, hardware, and automation to reshape how industries function. This is the new frontier. Not hype, not the next meme, but the real structural transformation of global innovation. And at the center of this shift are three companies, three very different giants, each leading a critical piece of this new technological architecture. Tesla TSLA, Broadcom AVGO, and Recursion Pharmaceuticals RxRx. These aren't just stocks to buy. They are blueprints for the future economy, a fusion of energy, intelligence, and biology that could redefine entire markets over the next decade. And before we dive in, I want to take a moment to say thank you. We've just hit 2,000 subscribers on this channel, and that milestone is only possible because of you. If you find value in this video, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe, and share. Your support means everything. Now, let's get into the first stock. One, Tesla, TSLA, the machine that's building the future. Tesla's journey has never been about the cars. It's always been about what comes after. And while the headlines lately have focused on slowing deliveries and shrinking margins, the underlying story is far bigger than Wall Street's short-term noise. In Q2 2025, Tesla reported $22.5 billion in revenue, and delivered 384,122 vehicles, slightly below last year's pace. Earnings per share came in at 40 cents, modest by Tesla's historical standards. But hidden in those numbers is the story of transformation. Tesla isn't just building EVs anymore, it's building robots, AI brains, and autonomous fleets. Dojo, Tesla's in-house AI supercomputer, is scaling faster than analysts expected. Optimus, the humanoid robot project, is moving from lab demo to early factory trials. And the long-awaited Robotaxi platform could launch in 2026, setting the stage for a new subscription-based mobility network that could redefine how the world moves. On the balance sheet, Tesla remains a fortress, sitting on $41.6 billion in cash and investments, one of the largest liquidity positions in the market. Even though free cash flow fell to $146 million last quarter due to heavy reinvestment in AI and manufacturing, it reflects a deliberate move. Tesla is trading short-term profits for long-term dominance. Elon Musk once said, We're not just building cars. We're building the machine that builds the machine. And in 2025, that machine is starting to evolve beyond wheels, beyond factories, into something much larger, a fully automated ecosystem built on data and intelligence. Two, Broadcom AVGO, the quiet billion-dollar backbone of AI. While NVIDIA takes the spotlight, Broadcom is quietly powering the digital world behind the scenes. Every cloud network, every data center, every AI training cluster, somewhere in that chain, there's Broadcom Silicon making it work. In its latest Q2 FI 2025 report, Broadcom delivered record revenue of $15 billion, up nearly 20% year-over-year, driven by massive demand for networking chips custom ASICs and its growing infrastructure software business. But here's the part that truly separates Broadcom from the pack, $6.4 billion in free cash flow in one quarter. That's more than most AI startups will ever make in a lifetime. 
CEO Hawk Tan has built Broadcom into one of the most disciplined machines in tech, combining semiconductor innovation with enterprise software stability. Its chip business fuels the AI build-out, while its VMware acquisition cements its dominance in hybrid cloud infrastructure. Broadcom doesn't chase hype, it builds toll roads for data. And every AI model that trains, every hyperscaler that scales, every cloud service that deploys, pays that toll. Despite its quiet reputation, Broadcom has become one of the most profitable companies in the world, maintaining gross margins above 75% and returning billions to shareholders through dividends and buybacks. It's the perfect storm of growth and financial discipline, a rare balance between innovation and cash flow power. Broadcom may never trend on Twitter, but make no mistake, it's the company writing the operating code of the AI era. Three. Recursion Pharmaceuticals RxRx, the AI scientist redefining medicine. In a world obsessed with chips and models, there's another kind of AI revolution unfolding. One that doesn't predict text or generate images, but rather designs life-saving drugs. And at the heart of that revolution stands Recursion Pharmaceuticals RxRx. Recursion is doing something extraordinary, using AI robotics and automation to industrialize the drug discovery process. Instead of running a few hundred lab experiments like traditional biotech firms, Recursion runs millions, capturing biological data at unprecedented scale, feeding it into machine learning models, and identifying new drug candidates faster than ever before. In Q2 2025, Recursion reported $19.2 million in revenue, a 33% year-over-year increase, driven by milestone payments and growing partnerships. But with heavy investment in R&D, the company posted a net loss of $171.9 million, widening from the previous year. Cash reserves sit at $533.8 million, giving the company enough runway through late 2027, critical for a biotech scaling into full platform execution. Recursion's partnerships with Roche and Bayer, combined with its collaborations in AI drug design, show that Big Pharma is paying attention. What NVIDIA did for GPUs, Recursion is attempting for biology, building the foundational platform that could power the next generation of drug development. Yes, it's risky. It's volatile. But it's also one of the few small-cap names with the potential to rewrite the economics of biotech. Tesla, Broadcom, Recursion. Three names that represent three pillars of the new economy, automation, infrastructure, and intelligence. Tesla is scaling the physical world through robotics and autonomy. Broadcom is wiring the digital one with silicon and software. And Recursion is decoding the biological frontier with AI and data. Together, they form a map of where the market is heading, a decade defined by intelligent machines, high-performance networks, and algorithmic science. In every bull market, there's a point when the winners of the next cycle quietly begin to separate from the rest. That time, once again, might be now. So, before the noise fades and the rally becomes obvious, pay attention to the companies building the foundations of tomorrow. Because history doesn't reward those who react. It rewards those who recognize the future before the world does.